Mr. Graham. There's your rhino. Beautiful. Beautiful, isn't he? Like an M14 tank. Just as dangerous. Which one of you is coming with me? I am. Nick, let me go this time. No, you keep cranking from here. I'll be all right. Now you watch yourself. Now get in close, Kelly, you understand? Real close. All right, just holler when you're hurt. Pictures. Hey, they're stopping, letting him charge. Hey, Tim! Tim, get out of there! Get the other camera going. Nick, you've got no right taking chances like that. And Kelly, at least you should know better. Mr. Graham wanted pictures. And what pictures? That was a great ride. You and Smith have delivered everything we asked for. You think you'll be back? Now, look, if it's all the same to you, let's just call it a day. Come on, give me a hand. We'll get that Jeep right side up. Slide from. Look out! I'm all right. Nice going, Mr. Graham. Anybody ever time your reflexes? Think you all right? I'm okay. That's all we need. Now we're almost finished an accident. That was no accident. What's he talking about? Let's see. You ever see a limb break off clean like that? Well, what are you getting at, Kelly? See those axe marks? It was chopped through. It runs right up the tree. Yeah, simplest animal trap made. That rock holds this trip line. Move the rock and the limb falls. 
Well, what kind of an animal would anyone trap in the middle of a road? Two-legged. I thought you said the natives in this district were friendly. Well, they always have been. Why would they change now? I don't know. Well, let's move it. Back camp. I'll ride with you, Tim. Hey, take a look at this. So it's a ladder. I found it over there with the tree. Look at the initials. DG. Dana Graham? That doesn't make sense. Well, I know Graham's wife's been kicking up a storm around camp lately, but not enough to send the natives off on a killing spree. Think I ought to tell him? Oh, no. No, not yet. You catch on quick, huh? That number one boy come back to camp yet? I think he not come back. He take clothes and knife and food. Hi, Diane. Nick, what happened? Is everybody all right? Well, sure, honey. Of course we're all right. Why shouldn't we be? What'd you expect to happen? Well, I just didn't expect you back until dinner. We found a rhino right outside of camp, Mrs. Graham. Take a look at the holes in the Jeep. It'll give you an idea how close we were. We? Oh, you mean uh, Mr. Kelly and Mr. Smith? No, I was with Kelly right in the Jeep. Well, good for you, Nick. Your husband had two close calls today, Mrs. Graham. Forget it. Come on, let me tell you about that rhino. Two close calls? That was nothing. Some crazy native set an animal trap and I almost walked into it. What's the matter? Crazy native? Your number one boy deserted camp just after you left. Eddie deserted? Why? Who knows? Well, we can't blame Kelly and Smith for that. We picked the bears, didn't we, Herb? <laughs> yeah, that's right, Nick. Mr. Little. Would you say that Mrs. Graham is fond of her husband? That's a strange question. They've been married for 10 years. Maybe she liked the weight of his bank book. I think you men ought to stick to your job running this safari. And that means getting you back safely to Johannesburg. You've got something on your mind, Kelly. Let's have it. Sean. Yeah. You recognize that? Well, yes, it's Diane's lighter. I found it down at the roadblock. Now, look, ever since we left the coast, Mrs. Graham has been needling her husband, making him take chances. That rope bridge at Tanika, the second day out, she practically dared him to go first. And the elephant stampede. He was way out in front because she egged him on. Now, come on, what gives? Oh, I think it's your imagination. That lighter isn't. Now, maybe I better talk to Graham. No, no, wait a minute, Kelly. He, he wouldn't listen to you. He'd just blow his top. I'll handle it. Believe me, I know what I'm doing.
You think you're level with Graham or Mrs. Graham? Well, either way, we've got trouble. Show me the time we didn't. So, even though the first film we made was pretty bad, we broke even. We paid expenses, right, Herb? Right, Nick. The second one we made put us in the black. And the last one really cleaned up. Thank you. A lot of people thought we were crazy. Said we'd lose our shirts. We were right ahead with our plans. Now we're having the last laugh. This is just the beginning. Herb, why don't we cut Kelly and Smith in on the deal? Whatever you say, Nick. We're going to need two good men. We'll never, never be able to top these boys. Oh, hello, honey. We're just talking about the next trip. I heard. Buried treasure, that's a gimmick. We're going to every spot in the world where it's supposed to be buried. Islands, sunken ships, anywhere. That sounds interesting. Where do we come in? Well, you take over the details. You know, boats and diving. Hey, how would you like to work steady for me? For us? Well, thanks very much for the offer. we we'll have to take it over. Light, Nick? Sure. Thanks. Well, that's my lighter. Where'd you find it? On the river road this afternoon. Oh, but I've never been on the river road. Are you sure, Diane? Yes, I'm sure. If you've never been there, honey, how could you... I don't know, Nick. I, I just found it missing this afternoon. Wait a minute. Eddie. Sure, well, well, he must have stolen it. I never did trust him, always sneaking around spying. Funny, I thought Eddie was one bearer you got along well with. Meaning what? Nick, I've been very patient with Herb and his little remarks, but I'm getting fed up. Yes, you've been very patient. Herb, what do you want? You've already got 50% of Nick's business. He listens to you in preference to me. Diane, stop it. I just don't want Nick to get hurt. Herb, lay off. What's the matter with you, both of you? It's simple. He resents me. Diane, Herb's my best friend. He's our best friend. Sure, war buddies. The team that was going to make a million dollars in ten years. Even if my husband gets himself killed doing it. Well, maybe you've got Nick fooled, but not me. Diane, let's... Sorry, I shouldn't have shut my mouth. Let's not talk about it. I suppose you two think we're a strange combination. Well, most people's nerves get jumpy on a long trip. You really think somebody tried to kill me? Well, it certainly looked that way. Supposing they did. Who'll get the biggest share of your business? My wife, of course. Kelly, it was an accident, like my wife said. She didn't say that. I mean the lighter being dropped there. Well, look, that tree might have hit you or Herb or Tubo. Either way, it wasn't an accident. I'll see you in the morning. Main course. Diane! 
She's all right. I'm going out to Miss Graham now. You don't have to. Nick, what happened? It's all right, honey. The boys are on the job as usual. So that's what he came back for. Eddie, he must have fired the tent. If he did, why didn't you try to put it out? I'm afraid I don't understand. The tent must have been on fire when you went after him. Didn't you see it? No. Well, he must have fired the tent. Who else? That's a good question. Mr. Little, did you see or hear anything? Well, I was reading. I must have dozed off. Nick, you and I take my tent. I'll clear my things out. I'll give you a hand. Well, I guess I was wrong about you two. You saved Nick's life. Well, why does that surprise you? I thought you were working for Herb. You don't like Herb. Why? If anything happened to Nick, you'd be the one to collect, wouldn't you? Me? I guess you don't know about the partnership insurance. Herb would collect $100,000 if Nick died. What's the matter? Your surprise is showing. There's the top. And the bottom. Well, that plug wouldn't have come out by itself. I could have come unscrewed to spread some of that gasoline around. That leaves Eddie out. She'd have hurt him. Yeah, but that doesn't leave her out. And what did Eddie come back for? More money, maybe, or more instructions. But from which one? I'm glad we're going home. Not yet. Nick wanted lion pictures, remember? Well, did you salvage anything? I'm afraid not. Unless you want us to sip the ashes. No, forget it. Let's get going. You men want to ride with Herb? One of us ought to ride in the Jeep. I'll go. Are you worried about me? No, our reputation. If anything happens to you, we get a bad name. Oh, you didn't give me your answer last night. You gonna sign on for the next trip? Well, let's finish this one first. How much further is place? Oh, about five miles. Are you worried about something? Why should I be? Well, you're giving a pretty good invitation of a guy that's got something on his mind. I'll be glad when this trip's over. You can relax. Nothing's gonna happen to Nick. How do you know? Never should have taken this trip. I guess it's been coming on a long time, huh? What? The idea that Nick's gonna have a fatal accident? You don't know what you're talking about. I know your partner's almost been killed five times since we left Johannesburg, and two of them weren't accidents. Yeah, I know. You don't like Mrs. Graham, do you? Why do you try to protect her? Am I? You did last night. She calls you two war buddies. Where'd Nick meet her? Right after the war, in the hospital in Rome. Is she a nurse? No. A dancer with a GI show and a prowl for her husband. One with money and too weak to resist. Nick? Why should that bother you? Nick and I went through that war together, paratroopers. We bailed out over Italy and were cut off from our company for eight days. Nick was badly hurt, shrapnel and battle fatigue. He just deserves something better than Diane after all that, that's all. But if you think she's out to kill him, why don't you just say so? No, I'll handle this my own way. Kelly? That's right. But remember, just because we found lions here once before doesn't necessarily mean we'll find them again. Well, what's the plan? Yeah, we'll set a camera blinds on either side of the water hole. Then, wait. Well, how long, Mr. Kelly? Well, it's hard to say, Mrs. Graham. Lions are unpredictable, like human beings. They want something badly enough, like water, for instance. They'll do anything and go anywhere to get it.
Hey, Tim. A young one. And fresh. What is it? Land tracks. We're in luck. Better back that truck down the road and out of sight. Have the bearers unload the cameras, Mr. Little. Right. Better get rid of that Jeep, too, Mr. Graham. All right, fellas, get the cameras down. I can't figure that guy out. All the way in the truck, he talked as though he was worried sick about Nick. About Nick getting killed? What else? When I pinned him down and asked him if Mrs. Graham was gunning for Nick, he buttoned up. Oh, well, that's funny. We know he doesn't like her. She met Nick after World War II in Italy in an army hospital. She was traveling with a GI show. Herb said she was looking for a soft meal ticket. And he was too sick to resist. Too sick to resist? Yeah, that's what he said. You know, shrapnel and battle fatigue. We've got to keep them separated all the way to Johannesburg. I'll stay with Nick. You stay with Herb. And you don't think it's the girl. All right, little, drop it. Hold it, Graham. Drop it. Stop firing, Graham. Get down. I got it covered. Get down. She's going to be all right. What a crazy fool. Stop firing, Graham. Watch it, Kelly. He shot Diane. I'm going to kill him. Get down, Kelly. Nick, throw down the gun. Nick, listen to me. Nobody's going to hurt you. Nick, I promise you. Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you tell us? I can handle them. Like now? Nick was sick in the hospital, wasn't he? Just how sick? He was in the army. He was badly wounded. I, I was with him when it happened. Psycho, maybe? He, he can't help himself, Kelly. Watch yourself, too. Boats Graham we're after. No, Kelly, he's sick. He set this trap to kill you and Diane, didn't he? And you knew it, beginning with that roadblock. I wasn't sure. And he paid Eddie to rig that deadfall. And he burned his own tent, setting you and Diane up as suspects. I know, I know. But I'll get him. I'll bring him back. He'll kill you. But I gotta look after him. You can't shoot him. Stay here. Tubo, cover me. Tim, don't go out there. Tim. Graham. Here. There's my gun, Graham. You haven't anything against me. I know you're not going to shoot me. Keep away, Kelly. It's her I want. But why, Graham? Why? He shot my wife. He tried to kill me, didn't he? No, no, he didn't. Now think about it for a minute. Herb's your best friend. You said so yourself yesterday. Keep away, Kelly. I got nothing against you, but I'll kill you if I have to. No, Graham, you don't want to kill anybody, not really. It's probably where your trouble started. Too much killing already. Kelly, I'm worrying you. Look, Herb's taking care of you. He's covered for you for 10 years. Even for the last two days, when he knew what was happening. He's hurt bad, Nick. He needs you. Yeah, Nick, he's hurt. He needs you real bad. Will you help him? Thanks, Kelly. I'll handle him now. trying to do? Break up the team? Oh, I wasn't worried. You had me covered. It was up to me. I'd have shot him. You? Who are you kidding? 